whoever was talking smack about you in the past, whoever tried to block your success, whoever tried to make you give up, they are eating their words because they realize that it only made you stronger. Every single obstacle that they threw on your course, every time they tried to slow down your progress with gossip and lies, and for a lot of you, a lot of misjudgments, this person is realizing pretty quickly that they essentially wasted their own time. This person really was just trying to make you their own competition, and in the long run, it only cost them their peace. Because they have spent a number of, I'm hearing months for you guys, trying to block you from moving forward. And so this person is realizing the more that they try to block you, they ultimately just slow down their own progression in life. So you guys are ready to shine bright. This is the affirmation we have for today. Say, I am ready. Claim it in the comments because you guys are about to be put up on a major pedestal. One more confirmation here. Protect what is yours. Spirit is asking you at this time to just be wary of this energy. But whatever attacks they tried to throw on you in the past, they're realizing that it was all part of their life lessons to learn how to grow. And this person's jealousy has only held them back. So this person actually lost a major opportunity trying to block your success. Wow, look at that. Split the deck and it's there. Because they were so jealous of you being happy in your life, of you having an opportunity to be in the spotlight, this person blocked their own progress. And now they're sitting back in regret and they're watching you because they know that that moment is coming for you guys. So whoever this is, could be a Leo. We've got the strength in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This person realizes that they were really just being salty. I'm hearing salt bay. So for some of you, this could have been an ex trying to block you. For others of you, this was an ex of the person that you're now involved with. And, you know, this person just felt like they wanted to make you their competition. You could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or this could have been one that stopped you. But notice how the Pentacles is in reverse. This person was being greedy. Whoever this is to you guys, they have a lot financially, whether it's follows, a platform. They have a lot going for themselves. And they're starting to realize that they've been so caught up in blocking you. It's only slowed down their progress. And if anything, it's actually made them go in the reverse. So people stop paying attention to them. For others of you, it's like people are just starting to see this person for who they truly are. Now, if this was a lover, someone you dated in the past, a lot of people are seeing that they just still are in love with you. They have feelings for you and... Instead of just being the bigger person and being proud of you for moving on, for focusing on your home life, you could be a Virgo watching or Gemini, but this person tried to bring like a disturbance to your peace, to your home space, and most importantly, to your life. It's like, ugh, that's just the vibes I'm getting from these two cards, especially too, if they knew you were dating someone new. This person wanted to disrupt your peace at all costs because... They felt like they didn't have a hold over you anymore. But yeah, whoever this is, is just a hater. And like other people are starting to see it. Look at that. So if you had cords to this person previously, like spiritual ties or a bond, they've been broken. Spirit's allowing you to walk away from this toxic person. Say goodbye. You know that song cues in the background? Goodbye. So for a lot of you, you said goodbye to this person. They couldn't handle it. They thought maybe you were going to come back as well. And then it turns out that the further the time has gone on, you're just focused on your own path forward. So this was like a last ditch attempt for them to try and convince you to stay in their life. This person could have said you are um, not the real deal. They could have said that they helped you in some type of work as well. So if you're someone who has your own business or like you recently just got a pr career promotion, this person was trying to claim credit for this happening in your life by saying, well, they're the reason that you met so-and-so to get the opportunity. Like if you just recently started a new job and all of a sudden you got promoted right away, say you were just starting at a basic level in a career and then all of a sudden you got promoted to management or to like a team leader in some sense. This person was trying to claim that it was because of their connections that you got this opportunity. But people are starting to see now that the further the time goes on, this person had no involvement. 
especially if this was like a baby daddy or baby mama to you guys. Um, this person was just trying to like buy time to keep you together. I feel like for some of you as well, they could have said like you had to stay together because of the kids. You shouldn't walk away from them. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. This person tried everything they could, y'all, just to keep you in their like presence. And now they're starting to realize you're good all on your own. Like you can do it all on your own. And so your time is coming to shine bright. So claim that you are ready right now in the comments. Drop a comment. Let me know what it is you're working on as well. Look at this. So we've got the three of wands. You could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But it's really just about realizing that the moment you stepped out of this feeling of being tied to this person is the moment that the bond was released. 555 five, five on the reading there. And it's really all about just knowing that this person was just salty because they want to hold you back from truly being happy. It's like if you aren't with them, they don't want you to be successful. It could be a Libra or a Taurus that you were dealing with, or you could be a Libra or a Taurus watching this. And, you know, Spirit was trying to connect with you guys for a long time to give you the signs that this person isn't who they claim to be. Because when they were around you, they showed you a lot of like one-sided love in a sense that if you were good to them, if you were doing what they wanted you to do, things were great. But the moment you decided to break away and choose your own happiness, choose your own self-respect, this person turned the tables and tried to bash you or slander you. This could have either been with words or they could have literally tried to emotionally manipulate some of you guys to feel like you weren't worth it. But spirit's trying to bring around this like new phase into your life to give you this confidence to realize that if someone is trying to emotionally manipulate you to stay with them, that's not your person. And you guys probably got that very strongly because whoever you were around, they always gave you anxiety. They always made you feel emotionally imbalanced. And every time that you tried to give more and more to the connection, they were just taking away from you. They were draining you guys, essentially. Look at that. The world in reverse. This person wanted you to feel like if you didn't have them, it was a heartbreaking situation. Some of you guys could have felt masked for a little bit. Like you felt that pain that this person was projecting onto you. Like without them, you're not able to follow your dreams. Without them, you're not able to live the life that you want to live. But coming to realize that this person is just an undercover hater. Let's get an angel message before we hop into another deck. Who is this person to you guys? A lot of you guys, this is an ex. So portal in reverse, they wanted you to feel like you had no other options moving forward. But doors are opening. It says you decide wild card rewards are coming in. And this is for you guys that didn't give up on moving forward without this person. Specifically to whoever you were dealing with, like they could have tried to get you to not be able to find more work or a better job. You could have been working a job that you're unhappy in and looking for a better place to be employed. This person was like keeping tabs on you or calling ahead, trying to put in a bad word so that people didn't want to work with you. People didn't want to associate with you. And for a lot of you guys, so that you didn't receive the opportunities to have enough finances to get away from them. But ultimately, this person pushed in good karma for you guys. Because, you know, this person didn't think that Divine saw everything that they were doing. But ultimately, this led you to some sort of awakening. And, you know, with the weight of the world, it's like it's time to let go of this past pain. It's time to let go. You guys are being guided to forgive this person. It may seem difficult if they've put you through a lot. But the quicker that you can forgive them for doing this to you, you're going to be brought in someone new. And you're going to have new connections coming into your life. And this is what this person knows. For a lot of you guys, you brought this energy to your person. Like without you, they weren't able to manifest the things that they did while the two of you were in the connection. And it was off of your energy that this person was trying to manifest accolades. I feel like this person could have literally tried to physically copy you as well. So either your appearance, your career... For others of you, they tried to take your friend group. And like, this is like a toxic person in your life. So once you started seeing the signs to who this person was, a lot of you could have felt like it was too little too late. Like too much time had passed. Too many things had transpired. 
And this person wanted you to feel trapped in that moment. So multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. You're being asked at this time to just really realize that whoever this person is, they could even be messaging people about you. Um, they could be trying to spread your business or gossip about you. It's going to backfire on them majorly. For a lot of you, this person could have commented on your appearance. They could have said that you were fake, that you were ugly, that you were ungood looking. And if they did that in any sense, it's like people are looking at them sideways because they're like, how could you say that about someone you dated and were with for so long, right? Like everyone sees right through it that it's just jealousy. And a lot of you guys aren't even aware of the things that they're doing behind your back because spirit knows that in a sense, it would break your heart to know that this person is so cold and vindictive. Like I said, I really get this narcissistic vibe that this person is all for you, all about fake love and hyping you up when you're together. But if you're not with them, they don't want to see you be successful. So earth pulsing is in reverse. You could definitely be an earth sign. But if not, it's just really about slowing down, enjoying time in nature and realizing with nature right now, you're going to be able to reconnect your heart chakra, your third eye chakra, and be able to realize the next steps moving forward. Some of you guys, this person tried to block your heart chakra because when it's blocked, that means you're not expressing yourself freely. You're not able to open up to new people and you're not able to trust and love unconditionally. So you guys need to be doing the work right away if that's the case. If you still feel like you're having a hard time trusting new people in your life, y'all do some work on that heart chakra. You guys might want to grab a piece of rose quartz, carry it around and this is going to be able to release that negative vibe, the great severings in reverse. And this is it. So whoever you're dealing with, they did not want you to walk away from them. So they've done everything they can to pull you back. They've slandered you. They've gossiped you. They've literally said that you don't have skills or talents. And like I said, to some people, they've even publicly said that you're ungood looking or they could have tried to make fun of you. I feel like this person could have told people you were slow as well. Anything they could to really just like make you feel less than. But you know, spirit has blocked a lot of this from you guys because you guys know that it's not the truth. And exactly, projection at its finest is right. Anything that someone's saying all that about you, it's like you could have gotten very defensive maybe. Some of you could have found out that, you know, I feel like for a lot of you, this person really ruined your life. And they tried to paint it as a picture that they were justifying what they did to you. Um, but they only made it worse because every time that you've pulled away or you have nothing to say about this person, they're continuing to go on. And a lot of people are seeing too, this person, if it is an ex, they tried to date someone else. They tried to broadcast it publicly so that they could like embarrass you or make you feel less than. But when they realized that didn't work... Now they're actually attacking your character. They're attacking your look. They're attacking your mental capacity for some of you. It's just gotten really downright awful. And a lot of you are starting to realize that this person truly never had real love for you in the first place. Whoever you're dealing with was an opportunist, cracked open and reverse. So see, the person didn't want you to see the truth as to who they truly are. I'm getting major opportunist vibes. If you were dealing with a masculine or feminine, this person was a karmic energy in your life. This person wanted you to ride the wave so they could ride your coattail, essentially. And without you being in their life, they wanted to make you feel like everything was impossible to achieve. So this person has maybe even made up like a fake page of you or a group page making fun of you. They could have posted on a social media platform that they knew you weren't going to see. So for some of you guys, if you have them blocked on Facebook or you're not a part of like a secret group that they have communicating with other people, this is where they did it specifically because they felt like they could just throw out these low blows and you would have no idea or no way to defend yourself, most importantly. So, you know, the problem with that is a lot of people, when they see something online or they hear something, they're just quick to believe it. They're quick to assume it's the truth. But like, say, for example, if this person started bashing your looks, saying that you weren't that look good looking anyway, or for some of you guys, they could have really tried to, if you're a feminine, they could have tried to say like, 
you wear a lot of makeup, you're not a real person. This person could have even made up that you had cosmetic surgery and a lot of you could be all natural, like you've never had any type of work done, but this person's done anything they can to block you and block new suitors from coming in. So like, for example, if this is a masculine, they've done it to a group of masculines. If this is a feminine, same thing, they've done it to a group of feminines. But it's a karmic relationship and people around them are starting to look at them sideways because it's like, how could they have stayed with you for a number of years if they found you to be so incredibly unattractive? Or I'm hearing stupid, like this person could have really tried to make fun of your intelligence levels. They could have tried to say that you were uneducated. Meanwhile, y'all might have like a PhD or a master's degree is what I'm hearing. For others of you, you worked really hard to complete a college degree on your own. And like this person could have been like a college dropout or someone who never even tried to go to school. And meanwhile, they tried to tell people that you were either on the spectrum. Um, they could have told people that you had a mental disability. This person really tried to break you down in any way possible. And these low blows are being seen by the universe. A lot of y'all, this is going to be a little bit shocking if you know this is your story. But also, this is your wake-up call to realize that this person is not for you. They are just for your success. And they are just for having a say in being a part of it. So without them being a part of it, they don't want to see you be successful. Because they told a lot of these people it was because of them that you are where you are. So, for example, if you had started getting a new career or a new business idea off the ground, this person is telling people, oh, well, we had the conversation. I gave them the ideas and this is where this person is now. But meanwhile, it's like you could have been away from this person for a couple of months, a couple of years um, or a couple of weeks. But I'm hearing a couple. So um, a couple that has split up and it's been so long and people are starting to see like, this person is obsessed with your energy and whoever this is too, like they could really try to mimic you in a sense. So for example, if you're someone who loves to get highlights or you love to get tattoos or you love to do your nails a certain way, this person is mimicking all of those things and they're trying to replicate you so that they can pick up on that energy. This is really what it's about. This person is a little bit warped in their thinking and Especially if they told people like you were on the spectrum or something like that. It's like people are like, so what? You took advantage of this kind soul? Like you took advantage of this person and now you're cutting them up sideways? Uh, people are really just looking at them like, what kind of person are they? So while they meant to take things out on you to make you look some type of way, it's really backfired because people are starting to see that this pers person is inauthentic. They're not genuine with who they are because when you truly love someone, you don't go to that extent to cut them up afterwards. I feel like a lot of you could have been verbally abused or even physically abused by this person. And it's like you could have really kept all that to yourself. But this person really went out of their way to try to make you look either like you had a mental uh, disability or you were like dealing with depression or some type of anxiety, something so that when you spoke your truth, it wasn't valid to people around them. But seven of wands, you guys are being asked to meditate at this moment in time because this person really tried to end your world. And a lot of you guys could really be feeling that defeat or coming out of that heartbreak. But you guys are being renewed in a sense that you're going to have this newfound passion, this newfound energy. Some of you guys are going to be able to stay up longer. Maybe in the past you were feeling so drained from this person constantly pulling at your energy that you slept a lot. But now it's like you're going to be able to be up till late in the night and then be up early in the morning. Like especially if you work a nine to five and then you have a side business that requires a lot of work sometimes, especially if you're just starting out. Spirit is going to be able to give you that energy and strength needed to be able to get everything excuse me, you need to get done. So whatever you're trying to work on at this moment in time, there has been multiple people trying to block it. Ooh, but the Ten of Cups is here, loves. So Ten of Cups really signifies your happiness coming in, 
your wish fulfillment in every sense of the way and also a beautiful family life. So you're going to meet someone who really is on your side, who really has your back. And this person's going to be able to really put this third party in their place, especially if it's an ex of yours, because it's like this person could have felt like they had some type of control over you for so long that now that they're losing that control, they don't know how to handle it. And I feel like some people are trying starting to call them out. Maybe in the past, you didn't feel like you had a voice to really let people know what was going on behind the scenes. But if you've been broken up with this person for a number of weeks, months, years, you could have finally found your voice. And so this person could have told people, for example, that you didn't work or you didn't have your own stability, that they paid for your finances. But now, say it's been a number of months or years, people are seeing the truth. Like, you haven't been in this person's life, so how are they getting by, right? A lot of people are starting to come back to this person and question them for the way that they spoke upon your name. And you guys are being protected from this energy. You're actually not being shown what this person has fully said about you because spirit knows in a sense that it would break your heart. But they want to show you just enough so that you can walk away from this connection for good. Because in the past, this person had the ability to really pull you back in repeatedly. And the whole time, for a lot of you guys, this person was doing this behind your back the entire time. Trying to make you look like you were somebody you weren't. So that every time they pulled you back in, they could pull the strings a little bit tighter interesting i've never gotten that from spirit so yeah whoever this person is was actually trying to take away your success if you are someone who has a creative content platform for example youtube you make music you could be a model you could be an actor an actress even some of you could be a comedian this person would say that they wrote your jokes um this person said behind the scenes that they ran your channel for others of y'all, this person would tell people that they gave you the ideas for this business or for this venture that you're currently on in your career. And people are starting to see that none of that was true, especially to like, for example, if you're a feminine, you could have a channel is what they're saying about like raising children or for others of you, it's about like beauty, cosmetics, different things like this or spirituality. This person has nothing to do with any of that in their life. So people are looking at them sideways like, well, how are you giving them the ideas on makeup when like this person could be a masculine, right? And has no idea about makeup in any sense. Um, and that won't be for everyone, but it's just so polar opposite is what I mean. So whatever it is you're working on, this person is nowhere near interested in it or involved in it. And this person could really just be trying to tell people, oh, yeah, that was all me. Like, they wouldn't be where they are without me. So because of that, you guys should be thankful because Nine of Cups is here and the Hierophant. You guys are about to be rewarded and blessed with some beautiful abundance coming in for you guys. And it's all because of your connection to divine, your inner knowing that you are going to be sorted out on the right life path. So, wow, for some of you guys, you're really connected to spirit, right? You could be someone who prays, meditates daily. For others of you, you could attend regular church or you love gospel music or you love listening to different prayers, things like that. And this person like totally walks around like the opposite. But then they were telling people that like, oh, no, it's because of them. It's because of me. Like they found God, right? So for some of you guys, maybe in the past you were in a dark space in your life and it's like, yeah, because of them, you found God, but not in the way they're telling people. It's like you realize that someone could break you so badly, but the one person that was always there for y'all was divine. I feel like some of you guys maybe recently learned that lesson. You could have been betrayed by not only like a lover, but it could have been an enemy or a friend. Um, could have been someone least expected. And it's like throughout the difficult journey of feeling incredibly alone, one person you knew you always could count on was divine, your spiritual beliefs to divine. And that's what's kept you safe and protected. You guys need to know that. And it's like no human in this earth is perfect, right? But when we wake up every day, when we choose to evolve into a better person, a better version of ourselves, that's what counts the most. So I feel like a lot of you really come to find this inner peace within yourself 
And that's why all these attacks this person's throwing your way, they're not going to even phase you guys. For a lot of you, spirits not even allowing you to see the extent that this person's gone to to try and destroy you. If you have an animal in your life, either a cat, a hamster, or a dog, um, this also gives you incredible peace and structure in your life because you are definitely finding that when you're around this animal in particular, it's like they're almost taking away that negative vibration that you may feel from these past insecurities or situations with this person. Just know that they are meant to be like an emotional support animal to you in a sense, whether or not you've ever realized that. I feel like for some of you guys, you already knew that just deep within your heart. It's beautiful. It's almost moving me to feel like whoever you are that resonates with this message, Divine brought you this animal in particular to really help heal your heart, to take away any fear or anxiety, and for others of you to realize that like unconditional love comes in many forms, right? And I feel like a lot of you guys really put your all into this relationship or this situation with this person who ended up just being like a hidden enemy. But with that nine of cups there, you guys are ready for this new chapter in your life. So definitely could have been dealing with a knight of cups in reverse. Could be someone that's a couple years younger than you. Definitely someone who is less mature than you if they're not a couple years younger than you. But this person always came in with like gifts or proposals ideas of how you two could continue the relationship but it was a lot of smoke and mirrors like it wasn't actual facts they wanted you love how this is right behind it nine of swords they wanted you in despair and heartbreak so that everything they said about you people would believe like if this person told everyone oh well they're constantly crying or in anxiety or they're over jealous of me and I can't have a life and all this. And it's like, meanwhile, this person could have been the type that did these things to you. Like they purposely didn't call you to try and give you anxiety. They purposely put you in third party situations to make you feel devastated. They purposely tried to take away opportunities from you to make you look like you were everything that they said you were. And so you guys have been removed from this energy. I feel like if you just recently got away from this person, know that a lot of you will not be going back because the more time you spend away from this connection, you're coming to realize that you spent a long time too concerned with loving someone who was trying to destroy you secretly behind your back the entire time. So judgments here, whoever this is, could be a Pisces, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Aries, Leo, Sag. Whoever this person was to you, they came in all hot and heavy, passionate, lovey-dovey to your face. They could have tried to constantly compliment you, tell you how beautiful you are. But then behind your back, they were telling people you wore too much makeup or you got cosmetic surgery, that you weren't the real deal. That say, for example, you're blonde. They would tell everyone, oh, well, I like brunettes better or, oh, well, they actually bleached their hair to make it blonde. They're not actually blonde. Or for others of you, it's like you could have recently went through a glow up. You could have gotten really good shape. This person's like, oh, well, they stopped eating because they have anxiety. That's how they lost weight. When meanwhile, it's like you guys could have actually started going to the gym or gotten really healthy in your um, diets. You could have started drinking more water, right? But this person tries to paint you out to be someone that you're not. And they're doing it intentionally just to throw people away from you as well. So if you have healed and you're ready to meet someone new and like have new love in your life and you don't have anyone at this moment in time, this is why this person's trying so hard because they don't want you to have new options. They want you to feel like you're stuck being with them. Look at that. So they don't want them to be any competition. Whoever you're dealing with is projecting directly their own fears and doubts because they feel like they put too much time in growing this connection with you to allow you just to slip away. Some of you guys may be seeing owls a lot everywhere. Um, really interesting. I actually saw a crow the other day. Now, normally crows are very like far away, right? This crow was literally like five, 10 feet above me and it was huge. 
I'm telling you, almost as big as my upper body. Now, mind you, I'm not that tall, but like it was a big ASS crow, okay? So for some of you, this person's trying to send you the evil eye and they're also trying to spiritually block you. Wow, I can't. Spirit is literally on point today. Did you see the, all the crows? Look at this person's literally trying to confuse you mentally. You know, sometimes when spirit gives me a download, I just speak and then that came out. So I just really just, <laughs> yeah. So whoever you're dealing with, this person is definitely living in their shadow side and they're trying to mentally conflict you. They're trying to confuse you. Should you stay with them? Should you take them back? A lot of you guys, it's a no. Because you don't even know the extent of what this person has done behind your back. This person has literally told people, for example, they don't find you attractive because you wear too much makeup. And meanwhile, they're telling you you're absolutely gorgeous, right? Like things like that. That's what's happening behind the scenes. If you're a masculine, they're telling people like, oh, well, they're super out of shape. Like I don't like their body. And then they could be telling you like, oh, you are so sexy. Like I love your body right however it resonates with you guys it's a lot to do with your appearance and the way that you speak or you present yourself so for example this person could be into you and really they could be into the total opposite of you and they just used you for a financial opportunity or public recognition for a lot of you guys like this person wanted to gain some type of clout off of you some type of come up some fame Wow, look at, they wanted handouts for me too, whoever this was, a lot of pentacle energy, you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign, or you could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, for some of you, it was double earth, you're an earth sign, you were dealing with an earth sign who expected a handout, so just be aware of that energy as well, especially if you know you and your past person are both earth signs, so let's get some more clarity, what's going on with this glow up for you guys, how is spirit bringing in this glow up? the bottom of the deck we've got the empress energy so in reverse wow for some of you if you were trying to have a child with this person they told people that you lost a child um this could have been a fabricated lie for some of you it could have been the truth and maybe they really exposed information that you didn't want others to know but for a lot of you it could have been totally fabricated like you never were meant to have a child with this person divine was like no like do you see this card in reverse this is my family card always to me because it's like a father and two daughters right so if you were dealing with a masculine they told people that you either lost a child or you didn't want to have a child you could have decided to um give up a child something like this but it's like divine was like uh no i decided you guys aren't ever having a child so, for example, you could have been on some type of birth control or you could have had an IUD and this person told people, oh, yeah, like they got pregnant or something. And it wasn't even true. It was all fabricated. They did this to block anyone from wanting to come towards you as well. And a lot of you guys are just going to learn of that in this reading. You may not have even known because whoever did this, like they spoke about you in a place they knew you would never see it. Five Pentacles in reverse. And so if you noticed, a lot of people just started looking at you differently, treating you differently. In specific, it's because this person's secrets have been exposed. Maybe you said something to someone in a particular way or just the way that you've been about your life. Someone came quickly to realize that that was fabricated and that this person wanted you to be placed in an illusion, in doubt, and alone. Seven of Wands, beautiful. So you guys recently maybe have been doing a lot of meditating. I'm hearing like a higher study um, when it comes to your spiritual beliefs as well. You guys could be taking a lot of books out from the library or maybe purchasing them through your Kindle or Amazon. However, it resonates though, you guys could really be studying up on spirituality. And specifically, this is helping you evolve into a higher version of yourself. And more importantly, you are awakening people around you. Whether you realize this or not, I feel like you could have been surrounded by a lot of people who didn't believe in spirituality and upon them meeting you, upon them getting to know you or observing you for a number of days, months, weeks, they become spiritual as well in a sense because it really opens them up to the fact that maybe collective really knows a thing or two, you know, 
And especially the people that know that this person really broke you down. Like I said, this person was either like emotionally manipulative or like mentally or physically um, manipulative. And so however this person tried to break you down previously, it's really being seen that you have held your own. You have really stood strong. And most importantly, you guys keep it pushing. You keep moving forward. If you're feminine, you could definitely be into yoga as well. A lot of you guys could meditate in the morning. And if not, it's like you're being asked to. So someone in your life is struggling with telling you something. Someone in your life is aware of the illusions this person placed over it. And they're scared to tell you the truth. Because they're not sure if everything this person said is true or not. And for a lot of them, they know that this person has really painted you out to be someone you're not. So for example, if you were someone who previously received a lot of support from people and then now it's like not a single person is paying no mind to you, they're brushing you off. This person either told people, like I said, you purposely gave away a child or lost a child, um, that you're fake, that you are mentally incapable of speaking to other people. They could have told people that you were delusional. And all of this was to cover up the fact that they used you as an opportunity. And so there is a third party here, someone that you both know. And they're really struggling with telling you the truth as to the lies this person painted about you. Whoever this is, like they made fake accounts or they made fake advertisements. They could have even had you posted on dating sites. Everything they could do to make the illusion they painted about you match up. So take it out resonates you guys if this person told people that you were someone who just slept around like they made like four tinder profiles of you or four different like dating profiles and meanwhile it's like you could be someone who's never even used a dating app but they did it intentionally so that when they told this lie about you they had the proof to back it but really it was just a bunch of fabricated knowledge and so a lot of people, if you notice that they aren't speaking to you, that they're misjudging you, let those people go. Spirit is saying, don't hold hate or room in your heart for people who don't want to understand you. If someone could be so quick to judge you, if someone could be so quick to not speak that this person has been talking so negatively about you, they never deserved a spot in your life in the first place collective and a lot of you guys are meant to learn that lesson. Like you're meant to inspire other people because some people could have tried to isolate you, specifically this past person. And it's like people are realizing that how can that be true when this person's standing so good on their own? So like I said, some of you guys, this person said that you were um, depressed or like you like really were just down and out in your life. You were financially unstable. Uh, unstable you could have been someone as well who really just like either had addiction issues or different things like that and people are realizing now a lot of that was fabricated by this person and this person could be masking a major addiction themselves you could be dealing with someone who is like a closet drinker or someone who is definitely addicted to some type of drugs or something and it's like you guys could be in your divine energy so you're fully sober um some of you may choose to have a drink maybe here or there. I'm hearing special events. But like a lot of you guys definitely could be sober. And that doesn't mean for your whole life. But maybe in the last like six months, two years, you've really changed your life around. And so by this person telling people that, the more that they observe you, you will have those right people come back. If you guys have ever dealt with a narcissist, a lot of that is a smear campaign. This person will go out of their way to study you, to observe you, and then fabricate the lies about you. And they go to your weak spots. They go to people that don't really know you well. They go to coworkers that don't really like you. They go to people that you don't have in your life anymore to team up with them to come up against you. Two of Wands, so definitely could have been a fire sign that was doing this to you, or they could have been working with a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Now, wherever this person is, definitely emotionally imbalanced. They feel like, wow, like your time is coming and they know that they shouldn't have tried so hard to block you because they brought in this major success or accolade. 
I feel like a lot of you guys, they try to block your finances. They try to block people from wanting to work with you. They could have told people you lied a lot or you didn't speak any type of truth when it came to who you are or what you were about. And people are starting to see that. For example, if you're someone specifically who's involved with networking with other people as your career, this person tried to infiltrate those connections. But like the funny thing is this person could have had no connections before you in this relationship and then they tried to claim it as theirs. Wow, thank you, Spirit. So you just saw me shuffle at the bottom of the deck. Justice is here for you, my lovelies, because you guys are not even fully aware of the amount that this person has gone to try and block you. Like, for example, you could have your personal life, right? You could have a social media that's private, and then you could have a platform for a career. This person has gone and told everyone your business, whether that's true or false, and tried to really just infiltrate your life in such a negative way. They want to bring about some type of tower moment, but what they don't realize is it's like you're authentic. You're not afraid to be your true authentic self, like you aren't wearing a mask and this person is. So when they try to set you up to fail, justice will instantly prevail. I feel like a lot of you guys prevail is going to be the word because it's like keep on going. When you feel like you don't have the strength to, you will be able to overcome this and you will be able to prevail any negative attacks sent your way. Nine of Swords in reverse. This person's experiencing a tower moment because they lied about you to the wrong person and now they're questioning them. And you guys are about to receive some beautiful karma. Could have definitely been a fire sign. A lot of reversal fire energy for this reading. Aries Leo or Sag. Now for some of you guys, they were working with a lover of theirs. Could have been a fire sign too. This person and them were teaming up to come against you because it looked better to have two people lie on you versus one. But people are starting to realize like both these people are just lying on you. So it's completely nuts. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is really starting to be exposed for who they truly are. Definitely a karmic couple. If it's two people working against you, they don't believe in spirituality. They definitely don't believe in karmic law. And most importantly, like they unfortunately don't believe in divine. So they could definitely be the type who really like boast about that fact as well that they don't have a connection to spirits that they if anything are like all about making the wrong decision thank you so much for tuning in and it's like whoever you're dealing with they're feeling the blowback of the repercussions of the energy that they sent your way because now all that negative energy they sent out is just being returned to sender and this person is totally feeling caught up in their own lies Wow, so look at that. Again, the Hierophant comes out. You are so divinely protected. You guys just need to know that. And Spirit is here to grant you this blessing. So for some of you guys, this is going to be a dream come true. I'm hearing in your wildest dreams. So all the attacks, all the enemies, like unspoken plans or plans that even try to be brought to action, they all crumbled and fell because you are a child of God. You are highly protected whoever you are, and you know, you're meant to show people that being connected to spirit isn't a bad thing. Because especially to a lot of us, we don't push spirituality onto people, right? You're not going to be like, believe in God or else you're not in my life. But you're like, you know, observe my life and watch how God has worked miracles in my life, how God has saved you maybe from this person's attacks, from difficult situations, from struggle, from pain, from strife. You know, some of you guys could have really been placed in awful situations because of this past person you dated. Like, for example, if they were trying to destroy your work or your opportunities in career, this person could have really been trying to leave you with not enough finances to get by. And some of you guys may have children with this person. So this person was like doing it not only to you, but to your kids or for others of you just doing it to your entire family, I feel like if this person had the network or the ability, they were trying to block not only you, but your family as well, like loved ones that were close to you. So whether that is siblings, whether that is parental figures, 
Um, and for some of you guys, it was your actual own children yourself that this person was trying to block. So some of you guys may have grown kids. You guys may have like, um, I'm hearing like a, a young adult child. So maybe this person is career focused as well. This person could have just graduated from college and whoever this is was trying to block them from receiving a proper opportunity. And it's like, you know, spirit is about to stop that dead in its tracks and really just like bring you back to life. And it's really just a sad shame that this person was trying to, this hard to bring you heartbreak because if this person chose to focus on their own life, you know, they would have stability in their life right now. They wouldn't be so focused on trying to block you. And it really just shows you guys that sometimes like jealousy is a really ugly trait to have. Jealousy don't look good on no one. You know, it's always cool to be inspired by someone. But the moment you decide to be jealous that someone has more than you or someone has the life that you wish you were living, that's the moment you know that you're on the wrong path and you're not connected to divine because when you're connected to divine, even if you are in the worst situation of your life, even if you are internally struggling or externally struggling, you know, you're having a hard time keeping a steady job or keeping a roof over your head or keeping a stable relationship. When you truly trust and believe that divine has the best outcome for you, then you don't get jealous. You keep working to manifest what you want in your life. Y'all drop some likes if you know that. Like, I hope a lot of you guys have already learned that lesson. Jealousy is not a trait to have in any case. It doesn't matter if you're age 10 or if you're age 70. You should not be a jealous person because the moment you are, the moment that you're projecting that negative energy into your own life. And so even if you look at someone who's in the media, right? Even if you look at a celebrity or or Bill Gates, or like, you know, someone, um, someone super like successful, a lot of money. It doesn't matter. Because when you are happy with what you have, you're grateful, and you're moving forward, and you trust the divine has a better plan for you. That is when things will work out for you. But when you start worrying about blocking someone else, so you can get ahead of them, or so that you can be successful in your own life, that's the moment everything around you is going to crumble down. And a lot of you guys really should know that or have learned that. And that's why your blessings are coming in. But yeah, until you're in that energy, Spirit just said to say, you guys aren't going to be shining bright. You will be shining bright when you overcome that lesson. So for some of you, you may still be dealing with a bit of jealousy or insecurity or comparing yourself to where someone else is in their life. But a lot of you, this was someone doing this to you. Could have been a Pisces energy, Pisces feminine, older or younger than you. Um, this person really just looked at their life versus yours, vice versa. You know, they found it to be totally opposite, right? They want the life that you're living and they're stuck living their life. But spirit always has a beautiful way of redirecting us. It's amazing how so much can change in one year in your life. And it's all about when you choose to open up and decide to accept that you're ready for the changes to come in. That's when things change. So whoever this is that's been hating on you, holding on to you and trying to slow down your progress, they're going to get that rude wake up call that they just wasted their time because they could have actually been on the path that you're on if they wouldn't have focused so much and trying to block y'all. A lot of you, this person knows you're highly intelligent as well. So this is why they tried to make you look like you were unintelligent. By telling people you had a learning disorder or that you were depressed or dealt with anxiety. Um, they would just tell people things like that because they knew anyone who actually truly connects with you genuinely will see how intelligent you are. I feel like a lot of you guys carry the intelligence of the universe within you. And every single one of you out there does, whether you realize this or not. It's just when you choose to tap into that energy. Right? It's like instead of sitting and watching TV every day, go read a book. Go pick up a book about something you would love to know more about. Or even, you know, the internet's great for that. Like, what do you guys think Google's for, right? Like, there's so much information at our fingertips in this year of 2022, whether it's encyclopedias, books, um, the World Wide Web, or the news. 
I don't know about y'all, but I love to watch the news all the time. It's very important to me to see what's going on in the world. And there's a lot of different things that are going on in the world that's really unfortunate at this moment in time. And a lot of you guys really, you know, as a whole, we need to be more focused on that, making positive changes for human beings in general and for world peace. Like, I am the utmost believer, world peace, let's make it happen, you know, and it's like, when people are in this jealous energy, like, oh, well, they have more Instagram followers, or, oh, well, they have more finances, or, oh, I think they're prettier than me. It's like, but what can you do to change your life, y'all, right? Like, some of you guys may just be on a glow up, but you could have maybe been overweight growing up, or you could have been, um, like, out of, out of um, shape. And it's like, you chose to educate yourself, you chose to make those health changes, you chose to go to the gym, or even if you couldn't afford a gym, you chose to go for a walk or a jog, right? And so when more people like need to snap out of that mindset of being jealous over other people and realize that they have the capability to be where you are when they start investing in themselves. And that's the biggest thing why you guys are receiving this glow up because you guys are meant to teach people that. And especially that by having that connection with divine, things come in. Maybe not faster. I feel like a lot of divine's children or chosen ones, you have it more difficult because you have like, I'd say eight out of 10 people usually coming against you. You know, people that don't believe or people that don't want to see you be happy and happy go lucky all the time, right? People that just love to sit in their own misery. And whoever this was to you guys, they tried to keep you trapped in that mindset. But the more obstacles they placed on your path, the more this justice is coming in. And that's why you guys are shining so bright to other people around you. Because you have this beautiful ability to keep a smile on your face. Even when you know like every attack is being thrown at you. Spiritually, physically, mentally. And like I said, a lot of emotional manipulation going on to your face, behind the scenes. From people that you loved or this person that you loved in order to keep you in this stagnant energy. And by you guys not allowing it to keep you stuck, that's when you're going to move along the furthest because we only have one life to live, y'all. I will say this always on the channel, but, you know, it's like your time isn't tomorrow. Your time isn't next month. Your time isn't when you have more finances in the bank. Your time is now. Your time is now. And, you know, it's all about looking at what you can do to make those changes. Like, say, for example, you want to move somewhere, but you don't have the resources right now at this moment. Well, start learning, start studying. What can you do to make small changes in your life or in your environment to get there? That's what it's all about. And whoever these smaller energies are in your past, these negative energies, I want to say, they are minuscule, though, because... They are people that don't want to see you be happy or successful, so they should not hold the space in your life to allow those feelings to overcome you guys. And a lot of you guys, this is your justice coming in, learning the difficult lessons that some people don't want to see you grow, some people just want to hold you back, and whoever this was specifically definitely could have been someone who was younger or older than you. They're not your age. But they definitely don't act your age either. It's like they're either really immature or just like, I don't know, someone who's just not spiritually awoken. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just about projecting positive energy. Because when you come into a spiritual awakening, you want everyone to celebrate. You want everyone to win. You don't want to see someone be caught up in drama or misery. So look at that. You guys, for a lot of you, are really meant to lead communities you're meant to make people see in your neighborhood, your church, your career, your family even. You guys could be that one person that's always so happy-go-lucky and the rest of your family is just cranky, especially around the holidays. Maybe people fight about what gift they got or, you know, um, just really minuscule things that are super like materialistic and 3D. And you're the one sitting there saying, well, it's important that we're all together. It's important that we all have our health. It's important that we all love each other. And people could have always looked at you some type of way for saying those things. But you're teaching everyone one by one slowly that no, like collectives, right? It's not about who got a bigger gift, who has a nicer car, 
who has more followers. It's about being good to each other. Like, literally, you know? The things that they should teach more in school, I feel like, they do, of course, kind of touch base on it. But, man, they need to educate when you are young way more on... It's not just about sharing and being kind to people. It's about literally genuinely wanting to see everyone be successful. Wanting to see everyone win. Because that's where those traits start and that's where they carry on through adulthood, right? And a lot of people are really stuck in that like mentality. If I can't have it, no one can. And it's not about that. So nine of cups in reverse, definitely. Whoever you were dealing with wanted you to feel in a state of lack. They wanted you to feel like you weren't good enough. And they wanted you to most importantly feel like you weren't able to achieve the success or the dreams that you're currently going after. They wanted you to definitely be in less finances than them. So wow, this person could be someone who's got like eight figures or has a very successful income and they wanted you to stay in poverty. They wanted you to stay in like a lack of savings or lack of finances to support yourself. And it's like, like I said, this person could be older than you that's trying to do this. And so really you're showing this person that's okay. You won't even be jealous that they have more or that they're this negative. You're just going to focus on building your life up and trust that divine is going to bring in the best outcome for you. I'm telling y'all, you will go far if you just allow divine to work his magic, trust in the universe and know that when you're going through beautiful 5555 five, five, five on the reading, when you're going through all that difficult period of trials and tribulations and you need the utmost strength, at the end of the day, when you achieve it, you're going to feel so much more grateful for everything you went through. And that's sometimes why divine tests us like to our core, to the hardest part in our life you could ever be. Because then when you actually get the blessings, you're a lot more grateful than if it just was handed over to you, right? And that's what a lot of these people are failing to realize, trying to block you guys and... I'm so sick of this energy, you guys. Like, people need to just allow people to live their lives in peace. And some of you guys, too, may be advocates, you know. You may really speak out against certain issues that you don't agree with. And people may really just have a problem with that. And it's just a shame because it's like, you know, um, for someone to try and block someone from being successful or speaking their truth, everyone has the ability to be who they want to be in this world and that's creating illusions over other people's life when you do that. So I'm going to get a couple messages. I'm being guided here to see. Top of the deck says your old boss. So for some of you guys, this could be a boss or a company you let go of. They tried to like definitely tell people you were someone you weren't in order to prevent you from moving forward. Um, really shameful energy because especially if this person's older than you. I see married. So this person could be married could be a Virgo here. Whoever this is, though, it's just like, especially if they're older than you, like, how are they living in this low vibrational mindset? So you guys, definitely, there is no one else for you. This really attains to when you meet that person, if you haven't already, some of you guys definitely have your special person. They're really supportive of you and knowing that you've overcome a lot. And whoever you're dealing with, man, they're watching you guys. They're spying. They're trying to one-up you. So if you are vocal about the fact that you are someone who believes in spirituality or you believe in keeping a peaceful life, they're going to try that hard to disrupt the peace. So don't be posting what you do like and you don't like. Don't be communicating it overly to people because sometimes people take what you tell them and they turn it against you. So y'all just be aware you got the ops, you got your ex, you got whoever's hating on you, spying on you in order to stop you from shining so bright. But ultimately, definitely this person's married. Married just came out twice. Ultimately, this person will not be able to block you. New love is about to enter your life. Last message, you guys. Get ready. New love is here for you guys. And it's going to come in when you least expect it. And a lot of y'all, it's going to be when you step into that full, undivided knowing that no one can take away what's yours. I'm sending you all the best, some love and light, some beautiful peace, positivity, all that good stuff. And I really hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.
Thanks for watching.